Have you ever tried to help someone only to find your efforts fall flat because they weren't ready to help themselves? Even as a kind and compassionate person who wants to make a positive difference in the world, sometimes your good intentions may not be enough to help those who are stuck in their own problems. But why is that? As you tune into this, we will uncover the nine types of people you are trying to help, but due to different reasons, do not want to be helped. These are people who, for various reasons, are stubborn, defensive, or ungrateful when you try to intervene. The knowledge in this video can save you from wasting your energy on those who aren't ready to change. Do make sure to stay with us until the end, because the last type is not just hard to spot, but might leave you questioning your whole approach to helping others. Get ready for some eye-opening insights. 1. Self-Centered People It's tough when someone constantly makes things about themselves. Say you're excited about a weekend trip you've planned, only to be interrupted by complaints about never traveling. It dims your enthusiasm, right? And when the spotlight should be on you, they swing the beam back to themselves, sharing how they feel, ignoring your news or feelings. Their self-focus can be draining. Would you stand by someone who's wrapped up in their own world? It's important to believe in your ability to inspire change, to encourage them to look beyond themselves. Yet remember the wise words, you cannot change a person who doesn't see an issue in their actions. Sometimes, for your growth, stepping back from negativity is the way forward. Stoics remind us, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. When you're surrounded by people who only listen to their own voice, your words and feelings might seem to vanish in the air. It's a bold move to distance yourself from self-absorbed individuals, and often it's necessary to find a space where your voice can truly be heard. 2. The Opportunist Empathy is a gift, a slice of beauty in human connection. The Stoics saw the world through a lens of shared feelings, embracing others' experiences without passing judgment. But it's a harsh truth that some see this gift as an open door to take advantage. They disguise themselves as friends, only to lean on you for favors they could easily manage alone. Their strategy? Guilt tripping. Initially, they praise your friendship, seeking your assistance for trivial matters. True friends seek support in dire straits, but these individuals, they have a knack for making you feel in the wrong for any hesitation to jump at their requests. Kindness is more than deeds. It is an attitude, an expression, a look, a touch. It is anything that lifts another person. Remember this when you discern between genuine need and manipulation. Actions speak louder than words. Watch for patterns. Does someone always have a minor emergency? A broken bike they could fix, but somehow it's your problem now. It's fine to help, but not at the cost of being taken for granted. Choose self-respect over misplaced guilt. You owe it to yourself to honor your time and energy. Listen, observe, and let your actions align with true compassion, not exploitation. Sometimes the kindest thing you can do for yourself and others is to say no. 3. People who create their own illusions. Some folks live in their own little stories. They make up tales about who they are and how things are and they believe these tales so much that they can't see what's really going on. The Stoics, old thinkers who were big on being tough and smart about life, would shake their heads at this. They said you've got to look at yourself straight, see the good and bad, and learn from it. Don't hide behind false tales, they'd say. 
because that's like ignoring a hole in your roof and then wondering why it's raining on your couch. Imagine someone who always thinks they win every game. They say, I'm the best, even when they lose. They're not trying to be mean or anything, they just can't admit they lost. It's like when kids cover their eyes and think you can't see them. They're not bad, they just can't see beyond their own make-believe. Helping someone like that isn't easy. They've got walls in their minds taller than a castle's. You could tell them something as clear as water is wet, and they'd argue it isn't. They've got to see the mistake in their thinking themselves, and that's tough. Sometimes they need someone who knows about minds to help them. But the old Stoics give us a tip. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. That means we make our own troubles in our heads a lot of the time. We've got to see things as they are, not just how we feel about them. 4. People who never admit their mistakes. There's a saying that goes, a man who never admits his mistakes is like a captain steering a ship without a compass. This rings especially true for those who won't acknowledge their own faults. These individuals tend to blame everything but themselves, not realizing the ripple effect of their actions. In the wise words of the Stoics, without reflection and humility, personal growth is an uphill battle. Picture someone always finding excuses. A missed job interview isn't due to poor time management. It's the bus being late. They rarely pause to consider the impact of their choices. It's always someone else's problem, not theirs. Attempting to enlighten such people is often a thankless task. It's like teaching a cat to swim against its nature and, frankly, probably a waste of time. They live in a world where accountability does not apply to them. When something goes wrong, it's not because they've made a poor decision, it's because fate has conspired against them. The harsh reality is that you may need to step away from people who drown in self-justification. As the Stoics believed, we can only control our own actions and reactions. It's sad, but sometimes true, that the more you try to help someone who refuses to see the truth, the more likely you are to get caught in their storm. It's healthier to pull back and not let their negativity drag you down. 5. Those who don't prepare for the future. Watching someone close to you underuse their talents is like seeing a book stay unopened, its stories untold. They've got the chapters of potential written in them, yet they seem to sit on the shelf. Life is ticking away, and they're not bothered by the hours slipping through their fingers. It's a dance of today versus tomorrow. Sure, we all need to savor the moment, but tomorrow's dreams are shaped by today's actions. The future depends on what we do in the present, said a wise man. And it's true. We glow with joy when we harness what we're naturally good at when we steer our skills toward a brighter horizon. It's not that they don't have the tools, their toolbox is full. They just don't seem to map out the steps to build their future. It's like someone with a green thumb who doesn't plant a garden. They know the soil, the seeds, but they don't plot the land. They wait for someone to dig the holes for them, encouraging them to get their hands dirty, to take the first step is often all they need. The Stoics had it right. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one, as Marcus Aurelius stated. Without direction, anxiety creeps in, stealing the joy of now and the promise of later. To inspire them is to challenge them to move, to act, for their stagnation holds back the tide of progress they could ride. 6. People who focus on life's negatives. Continually facing life's challenges with a frown 
Some individuals can't seem to break free from the shadow of constant discontent. Their conversations are often a litany of woes, money woes, family strife, work frustration. Every solution offered seems to meet with a new problem, as if they hold on to troubles like a familiar blanket. You may feel compelled to help, but it's like pouring water into a sieve. There's wisdom in the Stoic saying, he who laughs at the human race deserves better of it than he who mourns for it, for the former leaves it better than he finds it, while the latter makes it of no better worth than he found it. It serves as a reminder that dwelling on the dark can blind us to the light. It's much like when you're listening to a song that's out of tune, it can throw off your rhythm, trying to tune someone else's instrument while neglecting your own harmony can be futile. They may not be seeking change, just an audience. The more you complain, the less you obtain, goes a simple saying, yet its truth rings clear. Direct your efforts toward those who see your support as a gift not those who view life's glass as perpetually half-empty. Time might just show them how to celebrate what's in their cup, rather than lamenting what's not. 7. People who always blame others for their problems. Helping someone who always blames others for their problems is tough. They never admit their own slips, thinking they're doing everything right. It's like they wear blinders. Missing the simple truth that we shape our lives by how we respond, not just what happens to us. If we don't control our reactions, we're like a ship without a rudder, lost in a sea of confusion. The only thing we control is our response to what happens to us, a wise Stoic once said. Remember, no one's perfect, but to grow, we need to see our own flaws. Imagine a player who blames the wind for every missed shot and never practices to get better. They won't score until they stop pointing at the breeze and start improving their game. The truth is, self-improvement starts with self-reflection. The best lesson life offers is often the one we learn the hard way. For those who never look inward, life becomes the teacher. They may miss friends and blame the world for being cold, or lose jobs and accuse the boss of favoritism. But the day they start to question themselves is the day they begin to change their destiny. 8. Self-Entitled People Some people walk through life with the belief that it owes them favors just for their presence. They've adopted the idea that their mere existence warrants special treatment. Yet, life does not bend to our whims. As the Stoic philosophy suggests, we should not spoil what we have by desiring what we have not. True balance is found in mutual respect and the understanding that accolades should be the fruits of our labor, not expected gifts. It's challenging for those with generous hearts to guide such individuals towards a more grounded perspective. Their well-intentioned advice is often met with resistance or perceived as a threat. Imagine someone who believes their charm should open doors for them. When faced with generosity, they might take without giving back, leaving their benefactors feeling used. The lesson often goes unlearned until they encounter someone reflecting their own behavior. Life's setbacks can hit hard, and it's then that some expect the spotlight of sympathy. They play the victim, sometimes twisting the narrative to their benefit, even with those who have previously lent a hand. Fortune falls heavy on those who expect everything. A twist on a stoic wisdom rings true. It's often not until they stand alone facing the echo of their actions that the realization dawns. Respect and empathy are earned, not owed. 9. People resistant to learning or change. Change can be a tough road for some. 
Take Tom, for instance. He's the guy at the office who's stuck in his ways, using the same old methods even when new tools could cut his workload in half. Every time someone suggests a different approach, Tom's got his heels dug in saying, this is how I've always done it. It's like trying to teach a cat to swim. You can throw all the advice you want, but some folks just don't want to get wet. It's a bit like what the Stoics believed when they said, he who is content with what has been done is an obstacle in the path of progress. It's a simple reminder that sometimes progress means stepping out of the comfort zone and admitting there's room to grow. So if you know someone like Tom, remember, you can't force a seed to sprout by shouting at the soil. Change is a personal journey, and for those resisting, it often has to come from within. Sometimes, all we can do is plant the seed and wait for nature to do its thing. And in the meantime, we keep growing ourselves, setting an example they might one day follow. So, fellow Stoic, if this video made a difference for you, please show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing. Feel free to share your thoughts or reflections in the comments below. The universe, or as Marcus Aurelius said, the Logos, has a plan for us, and we can learn how to follow it by studying the wisdom of the Stoics. They were smart people who knew how to live well and deal with challenges want to be like them. Watch the video on the screen to learn how to sharpen your mind. Next time, we'll unveil more stoic wisdom, revealing stoic knowledge that can change the way you face life's ups and downs. Stay curious. Stay stoic.